Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have been able to share my own experiences with the world on what it's like for me to live with autism. Other times I like to um, give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. Like with the case of the young man who was discriminated against at Applebee's. A third thing that I like to do now is use my blog as an autism resource for individuals on the spectrum and their families and their peers and their mentors and general education teachers, special education teachers and uh, current and potential employers and job coaches and um, other forms of work supports like employment mentors. And finally, I will talk to anybody in the community, whether they know about autism or not. And I also like to cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give uh, some tips and advice to those of you that live on the autism spectrum that will be a little bit more independent. And I'm not talking about driving a car, I'm talking about using public transportation. And, and I'm not necessarily talking about uh, the special mobility that gets you from point A to point B, I'm talking about a bus. And there are a few things that I need to go over with you so that you know um, what to expect and what not to expect. So the first thing you need to know and do is that uh, a bus costs money. And sometimes if you don't have a, you know, a bus pass, you need to make sure you're budgeting enough money to ride the bus to go to work, to meet your friends at the mall or the bowling alley. And you also need to budget how much money you're going to spend, whether you want to buy a bus pass or whether you just want to have the cash uh, set aside each month. Um, uh, parents, you could teach your, uh, your kids how to budget and how to set aside enough money to pay for a bus pass or pay for regular fare if you don't ride the bus that often. And another area that I would like to discuss with you is that um, yes, I mean, there are some of us that like to be friendly with everybody. We're outgoing. We want everybody to like us. We want to be everybody's best friend and vice versa. Well, unfortunately, not everybody is really interested in getting to know us. They may be friendly with uh, a small group of people that are sitting at the back of the bus, but they not they may not be so nice to you. They may shut you out of the conversation or they may be able to um, call you all kinds of names because you have all kinds of quirks or they're going to get up and move away from you because you don't have um, a certain um, type of motive that they have or they don't understand or they're just being a bunch of buttheads so and a third thing that you probably need to know and i'm going to talk to both men and women is that there are people that ride the bus that will go and try to talk to a girl because she's gorgeous and young. And they might come up to you and try to ask you your name or use pickup lines. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they're looking to date you or get married. It means that they're looking to use you for other purposes. Like, and they could be money, they could be using you because they want to get you in bed because it makes them feel good so they will try to act as charming as possible and they're not just men that do this to women they're, they're men that probably do this to men and they're probably girls that do this to girls because they're hetero people and homosexual people and demisexual and pansexual metrosexual people and uh, I mean, it's across the spectrum. And then a third area that, or, or another area that you need to be aware of is there are people that get on buses and they will come up to you and start asking you for money. Like, you got a dollar? You got a dollar? And they basically just um, want to use the money to buy it for drugs. They're not necessarily using it for that. So uh, one of the things you need to tell these people that are hitting on you or asking you for money is, no, sorry, or you just need to ignore the individuals that are trying to hit on you. Like, today is my birthday, and I went out with my friends on the bus, 
And there was this guy that turned around and looked at me with this great big smile. And I uh, was uh, smart enough to ignore him. And he took that as an offense. So, anyway, until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer. Now, I would love to hear from you. I mean, how many of you are going to be taking the bus? If you have any other questions, I'd be happy to answer them for you. If you have any other comments and stories about riding the bus, I'd like to see those on there as well. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm going to sign off now.